Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Hope you're having a fantastic start to your week. This is going to be a Raid Shadow Legends video getting your week kicked off. We've got the Fragment events starting here later in the week on Thursday. We've got CVC launching tomorrow with a couple 10x champions that are going to be double dipping with that. A fusion warm up in game that you want to make sure you're doing every day. And I will get the week kicked off for you. Everything you need to know about Raid Shadow Legends, the community and what's happening in game. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first of all, up on the top right, you will see that there is CVC starting tomorrow. This is all perfectly normal, and you're going to want to hold off on the daily reset today. You want to hold off and not do your Faction Wars keys until tomorrow, so you can double dip and get a few extra thousand points just by being diligent and waiting until the Faction Wars keys are going to coincide with the CVC tournament being live. There's also going to be two different 10x champions, which Plarium always does. They do a non-void and a void on the two different days that CVC is live, respectively. And on day one of CVC, which is tomorrow, it's going to be for Ancient Shards and Sacred Shards. We are going to be getting a 10x for Trunda Guilt Mallet. Now, recently I did a collab with Ash over on his channel, and we were talking about some of the most power crept champions in the game. And I had Trunda on my list, which uh, was kind of a hot take. But I do think Trunda went from like the general queen of DPS, the absolute staple god tier champion for that role, to just being really solid. Like, I'm not saying Trunda is trash. It's just now she's really solid. Her forge rhythm ability was the best nuking ability in the game, especially if you didn't place the stun, you would get the double hit and it would be insane amounts of damage. Plus she also had another AOE to boot here kind of with the A2. But since Trunda's dominance of the DPS nuking meta, we've seen champions like Baron get buffed, Laorius get released, the uh the nutcracker get added to the game which is that new knight revenant Georgid, and there's just been kind of a shift in a lot of this stuff harima rising up the ranks and we have a lot more damage options it's not just every single top level account using only trunda to nuke everything down so trunda still solid i don't think her 10x is going to be quite in demand as it used to be but the void 10x that's going to be happening is going to be because we are getting a 10x for a Krygia. Now, this is always going to be a crazy event that all of the high spenders in the game are going to want to get after because a Krygia is completely account changing, absolute god tier. So good that she gets like banned in competitions and you have to like work around a Krygia if you're going to try to host like a fun event. So, for all of the high spenders in game that do not have an Krygia, they're probably going to want to be YOLOing voids to try and add her to their account. But that won't be until day two of CVC. I'm sitting in 93 voids. Uh, like, it's just, I'm probably going to save up for the next guarantee. We're going to see a guaranteed event come out for like 120, 130, 140 voids. I'm probably going to be saving up my voids for that. Because the hope of me actually getting a Krygia is just a little bit too low for me personally. I'm not in a, in a high enough spending tier where it's going to make sense for me to YOLO during the 10x i don't think i'm gonna still consider it because obviously a Krigia is amazing and i don't have her yet so i would love to add her to my account but i'm gonna have to kind of weigh my options i'm leaning towards just kind of holding off on my voids until there's that next guarantee and then in a couple days we're going to be getting the next episode of call of the arbiter and this one is going to be centered around el Hane. now we had el Hane, el Lane. sorry i always say it wrong I'm, I'm excited to see it in the video and then i'll try to remember to say it right but it's hard for me after doing raid for years like i called athel athel for over four years and now i hear in the call of the arbiter episode that it's athel so now i have to kind of like shift my brain and try to relearn these words that i've been saying for years and it's going to be the same thing with elaine elhane all that we'll finally see it in game but then we'll have all of the starting champions we have the gaelic athel kale and elaine coming tomorrow and then we can move on to other episodes that will not be surrounding the starting champions and also what we'll do is when that episode goes live here in a couple days, I'll do the giveaway from the previous video that I was having all of you comment on to win some extra prizes. I'll do that when the El Hain episode goes live and then I'll send your user codes to Plarium for the giveaway and all that. And also because we are at the start of the week, you want to make sure you are focusing on your clan quests today because they're going to be resetting. And that means you have just a couple days, like a day and a half to finish your Hydra keys as well before they're going to be resetting.
then as far as tournaments are concerned everything's mostly normal there is some essence up for grabs here in the spider tournament but pretty much noteworthy i would maybe try to get to a thousand points to scoop up your coins right there and then the classic green takedown is perfectly normal but you do want to be spending those tokens as often as you can to at least try and get that ancient shard now under the events tab there is something you want to make sure you're doing every day and that is the fusion warm-up this is one of the better things that plarium does for the player base in my opinion if you're active and you're trying at all to kind of scoop up these rewards it's very easy very realistic to do but there is a daily cap you can't just finish this event what you want to be doing is at least developing champions enough to scoop up your 60 points a day and get these easy to acquire resources from the fusion warm-up event that will be live for the next three or four days but now let's pull up the packs and see if there's anything noteworthy here so for the premium let's put in the big one and see how it's going to scale i don't remember the exact grade on this so it's 20 and it's going to be 13 of the energy refills 200 multi battles right there and then we're going to be going with 2200 energy boom a 0.83 on the energy offer so not going to be very good there um any mix soul stone pack now <laughs> they've been doing this a lot more often than they typically did this would be like a once every three or four week kind of thing they've been putting these out a lot more consistently in terms of like they do two different tiers of these mortal soul stones where they do like a dollar a piece or they do these ones where it's like 50 cents a piece and this is a lot more in line so if you are a spender in the market to purchase soul stones or purchase blessings this is the best you're ever going to see them and i would assume that more of your like upper middle tier or higher tier spenders are going to be scooping these up because it is that better version of the price then we get the anniversary pack right here for 20 dollars. so let's go ahead and reset this and we've got the 200k silver and 2000 energy right there three legendary skill tomes and then seven energy refills and it is a 0.78 so yep just not gonna cut it there on the anniversary pack that should have at least been like 15 dollars um the goodie and then the faction accessories so okay unfortunately not getting anything that i would super recommend in the shop other than the soul stone party pack but we are getting these a little bit more consistently so you maybe don't have to feel as pressured as we would have thought like three or four weeks ago and again just as a reminder you may want to be saving up for your budget you, uh, that you allocate towards raid if you're going to want to be going for a Krygia because that's going to be one of the better 10x's in the game that you're ever going to get especially if you don't have a Krygia yet so if you're close to mercy might be a good opportunity for you to wait and see I'm sure we're going to get some void offers coming through the shop in the next day or two as we run up towards that 10x event for a Krygia on day two of CBC oh wait and there we go speak of the devil okay so we've got a development pack right here let's go ahead and reset popping up in game 15 and it's only two voids though that's not gonna that's not gonna be the one to cut it if you're looking to yolo for a krygia for sure then we've got the legendary tome two epic books two epic books huh well okay and then that's and then a five star chicken i, got, I always forget that part so five star chicken and it is a 1.03 so yeah unfortunate for a hot development pack to be only a 1.03 so especially with this week if you're looking for void shards i would hold off until we get a better void pack and boom there we have it i appreciate all of you remember to subscribe on your way out if you enjoy daily rage shadow legends content and i will see you soon in the next video have a great start to your week thanks for watching peace